Oh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful visit. It's been a wonderful um, union uh, uh, between two nations. Uh, also talking about some of the uh, similar issues that we face as indigenous peoples across the world. Um, but also um, the work that um, many of our uh, people who are in positions of influence uh, actually uh, generally want to do things, but they need to do things with us and not to us. Well, it's it's really important for us to continue to build relations with our sister nations, uh, brother nations across the world. As, as he mentioned, we've gone through very similar experiences uh, in our history, uh, but the thing is, we look now toward what our future can be and the kind of strengths and the, I guess, positive uh, experiences and the things that we're doing respectively in, in our homelands and what we could share and what we could do together moving forward, I think uh, was kind of the message uh, today that we wanted to bring forward. And I think it was a, a very beautiful meeting, as he mentioned. We, we shared a nice meal together. We shared a lot of... Uh, background, history, experiences, and uh, yeah, so just looking forward uh, to the relationship ahead. I was presented uh, with this uh, symbol uh, to say, you know, our relationship will continue moving forward um, into the future, so. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact that uh, there are um, plans to extend it. And so, um, you know, the fight for uh, the surrounding whenua that belongs to uh, the Mohawk people, I think, is a fight worth fighting. Uh, we do the same in, in Aotearoa, New Zealand, uh, where we, we, we fight for our, for our whenua as well. And so I used a, a whakatauki and a, a, a proverb uh, before I closed off our uh, meeting today. He wahine he whenua ka mate te tangata. Uh, without women and without land, people are, the people are lost. And so um, I, I acknowledge the strength of um, um, you know, our female leadership. Uh, within our communities, they've always been there. Uh, colonization has made us think that they're not there, but in actual fact, they've always been there. And bringing them to the fore will make for better nations. And so I acknowledge uh, the work and the mahi and the position that you hold. Uh, and um, you know, you're an example for future grandmothers, mothers, and daughters for, for the tribe. And so you acknowledge that and the fight for land, absolutely. And I think we need to look at as countries having an exclusive ministry or an exclusive um, opportunity or department to be able to uh, have uh, intended relationships across indigenous peoples all over the world. And, um, and so that would be something that I, I will carry with me uh, into the positions of influence I have.